already as uh, East Africa, uh, and this we started in 2012, we have already identified West Africa as a key source market. We've uh, been out to Nigeria and Ghana uh, more than twice. Uh, we've gone to South Africa and the Southern African region. Uh, and yes, there's a uh, huge, huge potential in Africa, which we need to harness as Africa and try to reduce the restrictions that exist, mainly the non-trade, uh, uh, non-tariff barriers. Uh, like, uh, if you look at uh, the government policy now, there is only one referral uh, visa in existence. And like before, where we had many referral visas between countries like Nigeria. So it is opening up, and we are speaking to the, uh, to the government to try to open up. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we ignore our key source markets. They, they, they have to work hand in hand. You have to combine them uh, for you to have the, 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 the effect that is required. And the effect that is required right now, we're still looking at uh, the 5 million tourists by 2030. So we're still on track. Shabani Bajeti, I'm going to be somewhere. See ya, Kawai. I'm going to be able to go to the Changuzi. I'm going to be able to go to the last one. Changuzi, you are on a United City. No, United States. I'm going to be able to go to the Power, to the Secretary of Tani. I'm going to be able to go to the Nafikiria Wizara ya Tani. I'm going to be able to go to the block 
of now six countries. Uh, we are talking about uh, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, South Sudan, and, and the DRC, the seven countries, uh, have a potential of supplying 20 million tourists internally, intra, intra East Africa. So it's a big, big market that we need to try and tap.